Okay, it's tutorial time again. Um, I have a friend of mine who's uh, who's uh, an interior designer who's beginning to use uh, 3D Studio Max. Wants to figure out how to uh, build a room, light it, texture it, and then uh, render it using uh, the Mental Ray renderer. And I'm gonna uh, go ahead and set up a tutorial for that. And uh, if you guys are interested in this, uh, I invite you to check it out. Okay, first thing I want to do is let you know I'm using Studio Max 2011. Uh, first thing I want to do is go into the Customize panel, hit Unit Setup, and I'm using feet with fractional inches set to a half inch. Okay, uh, <coughs> first thing we want to do is build the room. So what we want to do is go into our Snaps toggle right here, Let's right click on that, set it to grid points, and we're good to go there. Let's come up here, go to AEC Extended, and we're going to click on wall and we're going to uh, build out this room and go right about to here let's come down bring this over let's bring this over to here let's come up over to here and straight up there we go and uh, there's our room Okay, so let's uh, turn off our snaps. Let's go into each one of the uh, viewports and hit G to turn off that annoying grid. And in the, uh, hold on a second, <laughs> there we go. And in this window, in the perspective view, I'll hit J to turn off these selection brackets. Okay, so what we want to do now is add some windows. Okay, so let's go back up to AEC Extended. And let's go to Windows. And we're going to use a, a sliding window for this. And we're going to just drag out a window here on the outer edge of the wall. And then the inner edge of the wall, and then drag it up a bit. Now in the Parameters section, let's make the height of the window, uh, let's say, uh, let's, say uh, let's go 4 feet 6 inches high. Let's go uh, four feet wide, and we're about five and a half deep, that's fine. Okay, let's drag this up uh, to about here. Okay, let's see in this view. Let's turn on uh, edge faces so we can kind of see what we're doing here. Okay, we've got our window there, and uh, now we want to connect it to the wall, so we'll Here, attach that to the wall and I, again I was using a selected link okay so let's go here we need to go to edit poly let's click on the polygon mode and we're going to click these pieces of glass because using mental ray those won't render so now I want to add a couple more windows on this wall so let's shift and drag this window out about like so and then let's add another one okay so there we go that's some windows there so let's just grab these three windows again and let's shift and drag whoops don't want the walls just want the windows so let's click 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 and then shift and drag those windows out okay Let's pull those back to this back wall. Let's go over here. Whoop. Let's go zoom in. Let's zoom in here. And I want to uh, grab these three. I'm going to zoom in pretty tight because I want to make sure it's snug up against the wall. So, okay, and I'm going to grab one more of these windows, let's just grab one of these, and I'm going to shift drag another one, then I'm going to turn on my snaps toggle, let's go here to my rotate snaps, and rotate that. 
90 degrees. Let's move this over. Let's zoom in again to make sure it's snugly up against that wall. And we're good. Now let's rotate the whole room so we can see what we've got here. I think I'll add another window on this wall as well. So let's move that over. And then let's grab it and shift drag another window. There we go. Okay, let's rotate this room. I want to put a door right here. So let's go back up to our create panel, click on windows, select door. I want to do a pivot door. Okay. I'm going to come up here. This is where I want to put it. So we'll click on pivot and on the outside wall, I'm going to drag down. And then I'm going to drag in, and then I'm going to go up. And I'm going to make the height of this door 6 feet 6 inches. I'm going to make the width 3 feet 6 inches. And we'll make this 5 inches. Okay, let's try opening it. And this one did connect. So that's good, but I want to, uh, let's say, uh, flip the swing so that it goes inside the room. Okay, let's just close that up. There we go. Okay, so now we have our windows and our doors in this room that we want to use. All right, uh, now we want to put a ceiling on it, so let's go up here. Let's click on our snaps toggle with a right click. Let's go to Vertex, and let's go to uh, Splines, and go to Line, and make sure our snap is on. And on the outside wall, we're going to just trace this around. Trace all the way around the outside, like so. Then we're going to go to our uh, Modify tab. Go down here to uh, extrude, and let's extrude that five inches. Very good. Now turn off the uh, snap toggle. Call this ceiling. Okay, and then I'm going to hold down shift, and I'm going to drag down another one. That will be the floor. Okay. So now we have the floor and the ceiling in there. Let's put in a camera real quick. I'm use a target camera. Just drag it out. Let's go up here to our select by name. Select the camera and the target. OK. And in the front view, just drag that up. It's about halfway. And then just select the camera. I have to pull that up just a little higher. Let's go here to camera. Camera view. OK. And now let's uh, just go to the camera parameter tab and we're going to pull that back a little bit so we can see most of this room and I'm going to turn off edged faces right like so now I want to go to rendering render setup we'll set that 640 by 480 we'll set the assign renderer to mental ray go back up to rendering hit indirect illumination We'll set the final gather to low, and we'll set it to six bounces. Now well, let's set it to three bounces to start with, so it'll render quicker. And uh, okay, so now we have our room, our windows, our door, our ceiling, our floor, and our camera in there. And I think we'll stop right here, and then we will uh, continue on uh, in the next one. So hanging the first thing you want to do though before we quit is. Let's just save this. <clears throat> just navigate to any directory you want to put it into. I'm putting it into my interior directory and just call this one uh, uh, interior vid tut one. There we go. And I'll be back in the next one. Hang in there.